Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tink O'Toole again here with another video. I made a file gauge, and we'll get into that in a minute. And I'll tell you the reason why I made it and how it works. Reason I made it is because recently, I don't know, last year, I can't remember the exact date, still are now saying to keep your file a quarter of the diameter of the file. So that's 25%. Now, on the FG2, that's what this is, this file guide system, in the manual and the FG3, the FG3 you put on the chainsaw bar, it says to keep it 10% above uh, the file above the tooth. I thought, wow, where did that come from? Because it's always used to be 20%. And even Oregon will recommend 20%. So most file companies, it's pretty traditional that 20% was the common now, why would they go 25%? Maybe because of too much hook. Maybe people are still putting the file too deep into the tooth. So this is a 5.5 millimeter file. I've ground a quarter of the file off, so we've got a flat. So the height of the file is 4.1 millimeters. Now, we lay this into the tooth and it sits perfectly level with the tooth, so we adjust it so that it's perfectly level. Look at that. That's perfectly level with the tooth. That means now that I can take this file guide out, or this file gauge, I should say. So this is my file gauge. I checked it with the vernier. It's 4.1 millimetres. So therefore, that's 25% on a 5.5 millimetre uh, file. That's close enough. And as you can see, if you turn it, it lowers the file up and a little bit down, and that's about perfect there. So if you set it like that, it's pretty much, and I've got five degrees tilt on that as well. Uh, for those not too familiar with five degrees, that's five degrees, just a little bit of tilt. Because I feel this is Stills RS chain, and the file lays in there. I, I think it lays in there better if I put it, Back to zero degrees we'll just have a look we'll zoom in there can you see how the front of the tooth sticks up a little bit and if I tilt at five degrees it just seems to lay in there much better there's still a little bit there if I was to tilt at 10 degrees Probably, it's probably 10 degrees. Look at that. That's almost perfect. Look at that. That's pretty bloody good, actually. So it's probably more... This is what I... Actually, this is not a bad little tool. This can actually te test the slope. But I'm putting it on 5 degree tilt anyway. Not 10 So that's my uh, file gauge. Now all you've got to do now is take this out. So we'll just zoom back out. Take this file back out. I've already set it up. So it's all set up. And if I'm to put this one back in, a new one. That means that's ready to sharpen the chain. And there's your 25%. If we come around the side, you may be able to see that a little. We'll try and get a really good shot of that. We'll get down a little bit lower. That's 25%. That's what it looks like on a still RS full chisel chain quite a fair bit isn't it now what I'll do if you look up in the top left hand corner you'll see there's a little uh, I cut this out of a PDF file 
And this show is still recommending the uh, quarter of the file, 25% to sit above. So what we'll do now, we're going to file this tooth. And we're going to have a look at it. And I suspect it will be okay. It'll have a nice, beautiful uh, C-shape hook on it. So that's the new recommendation. Not 20% above, 25. So we'll have a look at it and uh, I'll give you my honest uh, opinion. You can also use the gauge just to see how it sits in your tooth, the height differential. Uh, so yeah, you can use it to check the height so it's not a bad little tool so yeah i'll be using that in the future just to set up my fg2 or if you've got an fg3 you can change the depth that suits you and it's not a bad little tool just for checking purposes just to make sure you're on the right track because if you do the left hand and the right hand using this gauge and if you use it all the time on your 3.8 chain, so this is a 5.5 millimeter file, on a brand new tooth, I prefer to use 5.5 millimeter file. And when, when the tooth wears halfway down, I'll just swap over to a 5.2. So that's the uh, file gauge. You can make them yourselves because I'm sure that anyone that does a lot of hand filing will have spare files. All as I done was use the edge of a bench grinder and ground it down nice and slow. Measured it with a vernier until I got the right height. So yeah, you can use that for yourself. It's a great system, especially if you're using a FG2 or an FG3, or it could be a Granberg or it could be another brand. It's just another way, instead of guessing 20% or 25%, you can custom make that uh, height whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.